Wild out. I'm telling you. Y'all are going to see me wild out, gang. No cap. <laughs> All right, I might have lied. That one wasn't actually that hard. But this next one yeah, is simple. actually based on one of the okay, scariest things I've ever done. Oh, there's no way. I'm that bitch. Oh, he's about to get buried alive. Your nigga getting buried alive. Is it that obvious what it there is? You are, Shif. The tombstone with your name? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. For the next that challenge, easy, we are going though. to bury you alive for 24 hours. 24 hours? Ah, no. oh, 24 God. hours? Oh, what I mean, is you, you can get out whatever you want, but oh, you don't know what no. time it is. And if you leave you before the 24 hour mark, you lose everything. It's a good fear. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, please. Whoa, that's actually insane. Whoa, that's actually insane. I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Beast, bro. You're wild, bro. You're slowly turning into evil, Mr. Beast, bro. And it's, and bro, I'm not gonna lie. You wild, bro. This challenge is a little cat, too challenging, gang. gang. That's a white boy. For once, I'm on the other side. That's a real white boy right <laughs> here. Man. Oh, gosh. Him. It might get a little cold. Oh, no, don't mess it up. Please. I'm trying not to. This is filming nightmares, man. It feels you know, wrong to be on the other side of this. But also fun. Oh, what the? Oh, this is so freaky. The funny thing is that the timer hasn't even started yet because you aren't fully buried. It feels wrong saying this, but can you bury me faster? Bury me faster is crazy. What? <laughs> it was back. Bring in the extra hands. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, please. <laughs> Start the timer. Tap into your fidigity. So 24 hours just started. I'm already freaked. Bag. So this ain't gonna be good. Max, see that rope above your head? Can you pull it from me real quick? Is that yeah. a trick? No. Next time you pull that bell, we will dig you up. And if it does not say above 24 hours, you lose everything. I will burn your house down. <laughs> and also the $700,000. Yeah, I was like, everything? Everything. Sweet dreams, Max. Uh, don't throw the walkie talk. Oh. Wasn't that predictable? I already know they threw it, and I'm not even up there. It's so much more fun to be on this side of it. Oh, and to shoot. make sure Mac doesn't oh, die shoot. in his own grave, he's oh, going to be wearing shoot. this wristband that directly tells us his heart rate and vitals. And no, it does not give him any way of knowing what time it is. Oh. Basically, I need to figure out how to keep track of the time. So here's my strategy. I could try to stay awake for two hours, sleep for ten hours, and then I would be halfway done with the challenge. Sleep for ten hours is fucking crazy in a graveyard. I could just do that twice. Oh, and that'd be cool. With Max laying now in place, his first step was to that. pass the time for the next two hours. Six. Well, it's a feastful bar, but I guess it makes hunger stop. But it was pretty obvious he was quickly getting bored. We got a sleeping uh, bag. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, gonna be honest, not much going on inside his room. Where that sleeping bag go? So <laughs> and Mac being bored this early is a pretty telltale sign that he may not be too good at this. Because already within 45 minutes, Mac's idea of time was horrendously off. Oh, I think it's been about two hours. I'm trying Holy to get about 10 minutes, hours bro. of sleep, which should put me at the halfway mark. Even though the pro to sleeping is it will help Mac pass the time faster. First night sleeping in the car. The con is it's very difficult. Hey, I've been to jail, nigga. Nigga, stay woke as long as possible, then go to sleep. For him to keep track of how long he's been buried, Easy especially when he's not even able to stay asleep for more than 30 minutes at a time. And you ain't gotta worry about no jail cell, maybe. Yeah, you're good. I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> Hoping for the love of God, it's been over 12 hours. I think that's where we're at. And because when I did this challenge, I was constantly woken up by my friends. Jimmy Jam! I thought I'd give Mac the same joyful experience. Oh. Wake up, Mac! Are you okay? Whoa! Dude, you look like you just got That's hit by a truck. That's fucked up, B. Y'all <laughs> got no heart, man. That's fucked up, bruh. Damn, you gonna wake me up? Let me sleep. Now I don't know what fucking time it is. I don't know what time you woke me up, bro. What the fuck? Ain't no way they just sat out there for 24 hours. There's no fucking way. Who does that? This is a scam. Mr. Beast, you scamming, nigga. I seen that sleeping bag disappear. Y'all ain't fooling me. It kind of feels like I did just get hit by a truck. If I was to legitimately guess how many hours that I am, I Bro. think it's like... The longer Max stayed in the coffin, the less he seemed to know what time it was. Maybe an hour. Just stay in there as long as possible. First of all, this guy has an Apple Watch in his hand, but he can't... But he, that's cheating. But, Jack... How would y'all track the time, though? Nigga, how take too long. How would y'all track it? Stay in there forever. Nigga said jerking up. Bro, what are you talking Count. Hey, no lie. 
I'm going to stay up as long as possible. And then when it's time to go to sleep, I don't care what y'all say, I'm beating my meat. I'm beating my meat. And I'm going to sleep because that is a natural aspirin. That's a natural night quill. Fuck you, Bro, about. I would just I would just try to be say a natural for two days. Mama going to be just happy. To be, just to make sure. All right. Mama going to be happy as shit. And because we like to build a lot of suspense on this channel, for the remainder of this fear, you're not going to know how long he's been in there either. Damn. What? And even though Mac wanted to ensure hours, that yeah. he was going to be there long enough, it was clear the claustrophobia was getting to him. Being in this coffin is scary. Like, that, and the longer I'm in here, the worse I feel. It's a crazy feeling. But eventually, when we saw Mac begin to grab that Shit. rope, we knew he was thinking about ringing that you bell. That's the face of somebody that's about to ring this bell soon. No Mama ain't raised no bitch. Hours. Mama ain't raised no bitch. That song out of this thing. Mama ain't raised no bitch. Mama ain't raised no bitch. You did 24 hours? I don't know. I mean, myself up. I've been in one of these videos before. I lost everything. And the only reason I even came back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. What? Me screwing up that second chance all comes down to if I know for a fact it's been 24 hours. Yeah, we'll just stay in there as long as possible. How do you go get it back? Buddy, pal. How you doing? Jimmy, I'm pretty nervous. I don't want to accidentally reveal the time, so no comment. Jimmy, I don't know how you did this for seven days, dude. I do not feel well in here. Yeah. Have you got to the point where you start to lose blood flow in your legs and you feel like your back is going to fall out of your body? Oh. oh Jimmy, man. I'm thinking about pulling this thing. Hey, no, no lie, that happened to me one time when I was in uh, the hospital for about five, six days. I felt like my back was falling through the bed. So that feeling just fucking sucks. Oh, Jimmy, I'll give you 50 bucks Ain't back if you tell me the time of this. No comment. <laughs> all right, well, I got a comment for you. Just get a shovel ready, all right? Three. Oh, my gosh. She's about to do it. Two. This is it. One. Oh! Stop the tiger! And now that Mac has made his decision, no. there was just one last thing I had to do. Do you mind if I tell them about Shopify while we unbury you? Well, you this nigga is Shopify a master is a marketer. That helps entrepreneurs get started down the path they want. Sometimes starting a business can be scary. Like getting covered in spiders or being buried alive. Hey. I can tell you. Well, no, while he's doing well. his marketing, let me do mine. It's Raz that do So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm doing giveaways. So go ahead and subscribe. And uh, follow me on all my stuff so you can get that free giveaway. Don't you play. Don't yeah, on out. your business right now. Mac, you wanna know how long you're in there? I have a feeling you're not gonna tell me until you dig me up. You are correct. And one of the perks of owning my own business is I can do fun things like send one of my friends to the Super Bowl. Mac, Carl and Nolan each have their very own football for sale. And whoever's football sells the most, I'm gonna give you tickets to the Super Bowl. And I'm gonna bury the other one alive. All that matters is that you download the shop app. He wasn't capping, bro. He wasn't capping. I seen both of them at the Super Bowl. He was not capping. So it's both of these shit sold check. more? And both for one of them. I buy either Nolan's or Carl's football. And now that I can so afford this video, let's see Matt lose his $700,000. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, there you go. Welcome to the outside world. Now that you are out of Nigga, the you made let's see if you're in there for 24 okay, hours. It, if the number I reveal is lower oh than 24 God. hours, you? then you lose 700 grand. Oh. Oh. Three, two, one. And that nigga be 36 out. Oh. Ah. Congratulations, Mac. This means that you are My now boy. just one challenge away from winning boy. all this money. Let's go. He's You'll probably go shot. Yeah, He's I dead. smell uh not great. So far in this video, Mac has shown me it is very He's difficult dead. to scare him. But the final challenge of this video may just be Mac's worst fear ever. And that's because the final challenge of this video is a one-to-one -one recreation of the challenge he failed on last time. Oh the last my challenge. Put this in front of your face. Don't look. Hey, look. Damn. 